All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash, the Bar of the Apostle of the Great Millstone, for teaching us, storm sent truth according to the Bible, real well, and peace and blessings to afflict of the nation of Israel, the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. When I get into the Lord's willing and edifying lesson on. Title of today's lesson has become unrecognizable, right? And that is what we as the children of Israel who, you know, fell away are in the state of being, you know, a sinner, right? In the state of doing that which is wrong, you know, must become, you know, we must become unrecognizable. You know, and when we look at this word unrecognizable, it's pretty, you know, you know, simple definition, you know, it gives you things on the lines of not being able to recognize. Um, it says incapable of being identified, you know, not the best definitions. You know, you have someone who will, you know, work out and, you know, get real fit. He'll lose a bunch of weight and that person will become unrecognizable, right? And that's us, you know through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai in our actions and what we do, we must become unrecognizable. You know, as you see the chaos, you know, the royal rumble, you see the slander tactics, all we have to do is continue to become unrecognizable from the world so we can be justified in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai. I got a couple of scriptures here, you know, in um, Lord's Moses Lessons that I find. This is uh, St. Matthews 3 and 7. But when many, but when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come, bring forth therefore fruits, meet for repentance. And this is John the Baptist, you know, who would usher in, you know, uh, Yahweh Shai before he would start his ministry. Right, he'd be a, uh, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. You know, he saw he's seeing many of the scribes and Pharisees come to his baptism. You know, he told them to bring forth fruit, meat for repentance, meat. You know, worthy of repentance. You know, someone that will come to Yah by Shema Shai in sincerity and truth. You know, and make that change that Yah by Shema Shai requires you to do. Right. And when you look at this word, uh, repentance, you know, in the Webster Dictionary, this was popping up for me. It says the action, our process of repenting, I, I really don't like, uh, especially from misdeeds or moral, moral shortcomings, right? I really don't like the Webster Dictionaries. But it says to turn from sin and dedicate oneself to the amendment of one's life, right? Repent. That's the definition of repent. So to dedicate thyself, you know, to the, uh, to, it says, to turn from sin, which is breaking the law, statute, commandments, right? And dedicate oneself to the amendment of one's life, right? To feel regret or, or to, to, to change one's mind, right? To change one's mind, right? So this truth the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai, they teach you to change your mind, you know, and out of the abundance of the heart, what the mouth speaketh, right? So the things that you speak and say, those those things become who you are, right? This is uh, St. Matthews 3 and 9. And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that the Most High is able to... Uh, is is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham, and now also is the axe laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree that bringeth not forth fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, in whose shoes. I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire, right? So that was the John the Baptist do job, right? You know, John the Baptist, he baptized with, you know, water, you know, hence the word, right? Hence, hence the nickname, the title, 
you know, but he is telling us that Yahweh Shai will come and he will try the hearts of men, right? This shall is set for the fall and rising of many in Israel, you know, for a sign that shall be spoken against, you know, he would try the hearts of men, right? With, with discipline, right? With the Holy Spirit, you know, which is these, with the, which are these words and with that fire, those fiery trials to try your works, to try your intent, right? And that's what, you know, that's how you become unrecognizable by following the ways of, of Yahweh Shai, right? By actually taking the lessons that he is trying to teach us so we can be found worthy in the day that he returns. This is a St. John 3 and 3, you know, and I'm going to make the points as we go. St. John 3 and 3, I got a couple, I got a couple scriptures here. This is St. John 3 and 3 and 3. Uh, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. You know, and that's why uh, John the Baptist told those scribes and Pharisees, right, that to bring forth fruit meat for repentance because the kingdom of heaven is for the nation of Israel, right? But there is in the election, you know, that Yahweh Shema Shai you know, is going to save. And that election, you know, in these last days will separate themselves from the works of this world and they will become unrecognizable, right? They wouldn't be of the form of the fashion. They wouldn't be of this world. You couldn't compare, you know, uh, the elect of Yahweh Shema Shai to this world. They would be unrecognizable to the world. You'll become unrecognizable to your friends in the world that you knew, that your your family, your close family members, they wouldn't recognize you anymore, right? The things that you do, the things that you say, how you speak, how you conduct yourself. And that's what Yahweh Shai is telling Nicodemus here in verse 4. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter in the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yahweh Shai answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. And that water, right, is meant to wash away the, the filth and the pollution of your minds, right? And, and the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, is meant to instruct you after you cast us off those of wicked ways, you know, and how to dedicate your life to serving Yahweh by Shema Shai tells you in St. John 17, sanctify them through thy truth, right? Sanctify to make make one holy, right? To to to, to teach how to dedicate your life, right? Dedication, right? To teach someone to dedicate their lives to serving Yahweh by Shema Shai, right? Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. This is uh, Ephesians 5 and 26, speaking on the water, that he might sanctify and cleanse it, right? Speaking about the church, right? Starting with the men and the rest of the body of the believers, right? It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it, right? Cleanse, cleanse us, right? Cleanse our minds, right? They call it brainwashing, right? You have brainwashing, you have mind control. You know, and there's a difference, you know, where your brain is being washed from toxins and pollutions and, you know, false ideologies and, and things that are meant to set up to uh, bring you to destruction. And mind control, you know, is meant to control your mind, right? As government, you know, that, go, that word, you know, breaks down to be mind control, meant meaning mind, govern meaning to control. Right, and that's what the elites of society have set up this kingdom to do to control your mind, you know, and bring our people, you know, into a life of sin to lower down their vibration so they, as their cattle, as their sheep, will be easy con to control, right? But as many as, you know, hearken to Yahweh Shai, to them gave he power to become the sons of the Most High, and we are the Most High sheep. You know, and his sheep follow him wheresoever he goeth, right? And that's what we're, you know, doing right now to the best of our ability, right? But he's only a guide to them that keep his commandments and precepts, right? So you have to keep uh, these precepts constantly on your mind, right? And we ain't only talking about the law here, right? You got you to constantly think about the prophecies of Yahweh Shema Shah to come, 
you know, the, the work, doing the work out there, doing the work of an evangelist, right? Doing the work uh, of a preacher or prophet, right? Warning the people, telling them of the, the evils to come. The testimony of Yahweh Shai would be the spirit of prophecy, you know? And you constantly work on yourselves. Scripts talk about acceptable men in the furnace of adversity will cause you to become unrecognizable. Mm. This is a uh, Saint uh, John fifteen and three. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. So you become clean through the words that we speak unto you, right? By you taking heed to the words, you know, not being a doer only, like it tells us here in the book of Saint James, chapter one. Right? Let's jump to it. Saint James one and twenty one. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness, right? The filthiness, right, of your mind. You have to lay those things to the side. And superfluity of naughtiness, right? That superfluity, when you look at that word in the blue air, superfluity, it goes into the excess remains, you know, before conversion to being a follower of Yahweh Shai. You know, that excess of whatever, you know, that old man that's still there, you know, that 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 was doing wrong that was doing wickedness you know you have to you have to lay those things aside you have to constantly work on yourself constantly get better constantly become unrecognizable right constantly fight off you know that old man right it says and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul right so re re receive this word right with meekness, all humbling, humbleness of mind, right? And that's one character trait that you, you, a lot of our people don't show, you know, prior to the truth, right? And you got guys who, you know, claim to be in the truth and they still are not showing that characteristic of being meek, you know, being lowly, you know? And that's gonna uh, be their utmost demise to so where they're not going to be delivered out of these troubles that are coming. St. John uh, 16 and 6, uh, 6, St. John chapter 6, verse 63, is the spirit that quickeneth, meaning to make alive, the flesh profit of nothing, right? The works of the flesh do not profit you. The works, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are alive. So the, the things that Yahweh Shah is trying to teach us, right? Uh, they are meant to give us life. They are meant to, you know, elevate us, right? They're, they're meant to to lead us, you know, down this straight and narrow path to immortality, right? It says, where, uh, St. John 1 119 verse 9, where, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. So not only hearing the words of Yahweh Shema Shah, but taking heed, right? If you give, if someone asks for your instructions to the nearest shopping mall and you tell them, right? They, them hearing it is them hearing it, right? But them actually following those instructions to get to that shopping mall, to get to that destination, that would be them taking heed to those, to those instructions. So it says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? You know, cleanse his way, you know, cleanse, you know, uh, to clean up his mind, right? So he can uh, walk uh, on this path of righteousness by taking heed thereto according to his to thy word, right? So you have to take heed to the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, and we understand that, you know, the, the, the ways that the scriptures tell us that be, you know, you know, putting down the wickedness, right? But more also we're learning to be kings and priests. You know, we're we're current we're learn we're learning how to judge, right? A nation of kings and priests. What what's the job of a of a, of a king to judge? You know, in every situation, you know, every similitude that we're put into, our simulation that we're put into in our day to day life, is meant for us to judge those situations, right? So, might cut you off on the road. It's meant for you to judge, and show temperance and have control. That, yeah, I can, uh, I can exude self control and not overreact, right? And that's a very small thing, you know, but, hey, if you're struggling with it, you got to overcome that, right? And, you know, many other things. This is a saint, this is a 2 Corinthians uh, 
5 and 17, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Yahweh Shai, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new, right? Let's read this in NLT. This means that anyone who belongs to, to Yahweh Shai has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life begins. So a new life has begun. You know, that's us, you know, actually hearkening and trying to the best of our ability to please Yah by Shema Shai, right? And that's what it's going to take to enter into the kingdom of Yah by Shema Shai, into the kingdom of our Lord. This is Galatians 6 and 15. For in Yahweh Shai, a Mashiach, neither circumcision availeth, neither uh, are, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature, right? It doesn't matter if you were raised in the customs of the law, circumcised on the eighth day, right? Or if you were, you know, Israelite foreigner. What matters is that you become that new creature, that you make that change, you know, even because as John the Baptist told those wicked scribes and Pharisees, you know, old generation of vipers, right? A viper, you know, <laughs> A viper is a, he's a poisonous snake, you know, and that was basically them using, uh, that was, that was, uh, John, you know, uh, using, uh, 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 um, curse words in his time, right? Basically throwing, uh, you know, like, look at these, uh, ninjas, right? Yeah, a very, uh, poisonous snake, a viper is. It says, it, it says, uh, real quick, just want to read something on it. It says, is a viper more venomous than a rattlesnake? Considering both species venoms, it is safe to say that a rattlesnakes are not more venomous than, than vipers, you know? So, the way Jake was acting, the way they are moving, you know, what they are pushing, you know, it, you know, it moved John the Baptist to call them vipers. You see, and this is a saint, uh, this book of Romans chapter two, verse 28, for he that is a Jew, I'm sorry, for he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, right? And we saw that this week with that Royal Rumble, you know, and many other things, just three hour podcasts, four hour podcasts, right? No scriptures really coming out, no edification, you know, gossip up. He say, she say, right? And these guys have on, you know, the look, the, the, the attire as if they're Israelites, as if they are Jews, as if they are, you know, the sons of God, right? But it says, but he is a, but he is not a Jew, which was one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew which is one inwardly and a circumcision of that of the heart in the spirit and not in the leather whose praise is not of men but of the most high right so a true Jew you know you know being a son of the heavenly father you know that starts you know what you believe in Yahweh Shai first and foremost right having faith in the Lord you know, and having the faith to change uh, your life, to change your mind, right? To change the way you conduct yourself, to change the way you act, right? But, you know, Lord's willing, you know, that was a, that was a quick little lesson. One to kind of uh, bring out uh, early in the week, the Spirit kind of remind me on, you know, this topic. I had another lesson prepared. You know, how we should be focused on uh, the prophecies and the return of Yahweh Shai. But, you know, I want to do that lesson, you know, becoming unrecognizable, right? So we want to uh, show uh, temperance, which is, which is self-control in our day-to-day -day lives. We want to show, you know, discipline, right? Continue to do uh, things even when they're hard, right? We want to continue to uh, bear our cross. We continue to do these things, suffering for, you know, doing the right thing, right? Suffering for doing things the right way and not always the easy way, right? 
So, Lord's willing and edify with that. Until next day, next, till next time, we say Shalom.